Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So today we're still doing sawmill work, but we've got something a little bit different to do. I've got one here on the mill of a pretty good size. I've got to uh, obviously get the dirt cleaned off of it and get it sawn up. And then I have to get to this thing. It's a beast. This is 22 inches in diameter, uh, which means it's quite a bit too big for the mill. So I've got to cut some slabs off of it with my chainsaw and see if I can get it to fit. All right, let's get to work. All right, folks, we're about to try and deal with this uh, oversized log. So I have put a couple of lines on here. I'm gonna try to cut a slab off here and here get us down to roughly 19 inches, which should allow me to just get it on. Now I am 18 inches at the small end. So this does quite a sudden kind of out sweep. So we've got the chainsaw out, we're all ready to go. And uh, we'll see, we'll see what we can do here. Exactly, made it a lot lighter, that's for sure. I think we'll put the uh, grapple back on the tractor and see what we can do to pick it up. It is getting late in the day, but uh, I think we've got time to give that a try. Well, we've got it over here, but as I see it, my biggest challenge is gonna be getting it high enough that's a challenge because I can pick it up with the wrist action but the straight loader part hasn't got enough uh, strength to pick it up. So my plan is to slowly block it up high enough that I can then use the wrist to get it the rest of the way up onto things here. It's a, this is a real game, but let's see how we do.
close. there. I'm thinking I might actually try to rotate it a little bit farther. Get this face down. Uh, that way it's not uh, sitting on the round. Let's see if I can roll it a bit here. Am I pushing that down? Yeah, I am. Well, there we are, guys. We've actually got it up here. And because I got it over on that flat, it's sitting pretty well. Let's see if we can actually clear everything. So that's gonna be really close. But I think we're going to be able to make it. I think we'll actually get by. So I have I saw something like this done uh, by Paul on uh, Jell-O Outdoors. Uh, he has uh, done some very big logs. He's got the same machine as I've got. And this is what he did, was he cut uh, slabs off of it in order to get it on. Now, he does have an advantage over me with uh, his tractor. He's got a bigger Kubota tractor than I do. So this was a struggle to get up here, but I still got it up. Unbelievably, a little subcompact tractor picked this thing up. 20 inches in diameter and eight and a half feet long. Pretty good weight there. But I think we're going to leave that now until the morning. So we're going to clean up, get things put away, and we'll see you folks in the morning and we'll see what we can do with this. Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back. A little bit late getting started this morning. I was uh, watching the uh, SpaceX uh, flight this morning. I am a bit of a space nut, so that was kind of uh, fun to keep an eye on. But we're back out looking at this uh, giant beast here that we got up on the uh, 
sawmill yesterday. So let's we'll figure out how much this thing actually weighs. I think there's a way to uh, to do that, or at least estimate it. So it's too big to be able to get the clamp on. So what I have done is hammered in some wedges here underneath it, and it seems to be quite solid. Plus, I'm sitting on the flat at the one end that I cut with the chainsaw. So. We're in pretty good shape, I think, to, uh, to cut this. And as I mentioned bef before, I saw Paul working on this kind of thing on uh, his channel, Jellin Outdoors. You should have a look at that. He's got some pretty neat stuff going on. I've learned a lot uh, off of his. But let me reiterate that I am not, and nor is he, a how-to channel. What we are both showing is how we have done this kind of thing. Now, I'm not saying that this is the way to do it or even the right way to do it, but it's just how I have been doing it. So don't take this as gospel and as the way to do it. Now, I am pushing everything pretty much to the max. I pushed the tractor, the little uh, Kubota BX23S, to the max getting this up here. You saw how I had to work through stepping it up to get it in place. I can't actually get my clamp on here, so I'm holding it in place with wedges. But we will get it down small enough to get the clamp on. So, all of that being said, I guess what I'm trying to say is be careful out there. Be safe. Give what you're doing a lot of thought before you do it and watch out and be ready for what could go wrong. All right, with all of that said now, let's get back to work. Now the plan that I've got right now is to cut this whole log down into uh, one by six boards. I need quite a few of those. I'm gonna need them for flooring. I'm gonna need them to make uh, extra long uh, two by six uh, boards by laminating them together. So this should give me quite a few. It'll be interesting to see how many we get out of it. All right, let's get you folks set in position, moved into time lapse, and I'll get rolling here and we'll see how we do. Well, there we are, folks. That worked out real nicely. I got 30 boards out of that one tree. That's pretty darn good. Because of the size of the diameter and that kind of thing, there was a lot less waste in it because there's a much uh, larger radius so I could get into wide enough boards 
very early on. But it's a real beast moving around something that big. But it's done. We did a good job on it. The sawmill worked beautifully. That uh, little HM122 from Woodland Mills is just working a real treat. And that tractor handled that weight. That was incredible. But the weather is about to change on us. So I'm gonna need to do a pretty rush cleanup here as I wanna get these fresh boards uh, in under cover, all, uh, all stacked and stickered and ready to dry in the uh, storage dome down there. And then get this cleaned up and get everything wrapped up because we're going out for dinner tonight. So if you've been enjoying the video, please give it a like and uh, don't hesitate to share it around if there is somebody else you think might be interested in it. And I'd also love to have you subscribe to the channel. That would really help out a lot. So remember to stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we'll see you out on the trails the next time. Mm -hmm.